so let me ask this question here. Let, let's let's throw this one out because we put this one out before. If you meet a guy, or maybe you're with a guy right now, does his sexual history make a difference to you? And does your sexual history make a difference to him? Is there is it an issue? If you met a guy that had a hundred partners, would that would that bother you? It, it's Vegas. Okay oh, I'm sorry. It uh, is I Vegas. Five hundred <laughs> partners. <laughs> it's Vegas. Five hundred. Uh, let's round. Make a nice round number. Um, I mean, honestly, as long as he's clean, doesn't have any STDs, like I don't give a shit. Like your mm -hmm. past before me is your past before me. Like especially sexually, that means better experience for me. You know what you're say, doing does in that, bed. Does that so, like, I was gonna say, does that yeah, improve, like, does improve his chances? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So no, I I don't give a shit. As long as you're clean, it's fine. Sure. Let's and, make that a TikTok. And Domo, let's make that a TikTok. Yeah. Sure. And, and Domo, I know your business, so maybe this is kind of a moot Absolutely point. Absolutely, yeah. testing mm -hmm. is important. I don't really care about the past of other women either. It, that doesn't bother me, and I don't feel like threatened by mm -hmm. that. But you know, just being aware of your uh, test results is is uh, your status is mm -hmm. important. So the number's not important so much as the health factor. Yeah. Okay. No, the number does not matter at all. I could care less, but I do have four brothers at mm -hmm. home and if there was a girl who had about a hundred partners, I know that that would be a problem for them. What about what, it's what different? What do you think? With what? women. Mm -hmm. I think it's different for men and women. So what's right? okay. what's it? So you you would you not care if a Oh guy yeah, explained? I don't care. I no. wouldn't care that's their past. That all happened before me. Once yeah. you have met me and it, we have started once we a get relationship. To, once we get to whole, the, it's a whole thing. Once we get to the natty voodoo clam, then there's no other voodoo clams. <laughs> there's no other clams. It's just her. It's got it. I understand now. Uh -huh. The magic. Okay. Now, do you believe that it matters to men? Absolutely. Yeah. Because I know, I feel like, so this may be a bad example, but I feel like if a woman like found Much. out her man was cheating, I feel like they're more likely to forgive them and take them back. Where if a guy, yeah. I know personally men who have found their girl cheating, it's like the end of the world. And they're <laughs> like, she's sin. a fucking... Mm -hmm. Horrible person, yeah. Yeah, so the, the way Dr. Bust describes this, men generally ask when they get cheated on, did you fuck him? Women ask, do you love her? Yeah. And they, the other thing about it yeah. is, when gay men get cheated on, they ask, did you fuck him? When le lesbian women get cheated on, they ask, do you love her? It has to do with, it actually has to do with XY chromosome and hormones. It does not have to do with your sexual preferences. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. Oh, what do you think? Uh, do you I think that it matters to men? Yes. And no, of uh, up. Uh, I mean, it de it depends what type of men. Some like, especially like girls that are in the industry. Some men get really excited about that. That's kind of a fetish for them. But then there is that other, you know, uh, citizens demographic of guys. Yeah. Yes. Or civilians. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You already said yeah. your brothers would would have a problem with a, a and girl at a hundred. Yeah. Count. Yeah. And you, you, do you feel the same way? That men care more? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's interesting. So we've uh, we've asked this question before, and then sometimes instead of this, we'll, we'll have a girl be like, "Men shouldn't care." We'll be like, "Okay, so you have a son, and your son is coming home, and she has a he has a new girlfriend or a brother it, or a, a brother. <laughs> yeah. uh, the 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 girlfriend has three different babies, daddies, and has been with a hundred women. Are what are you going to tell your son? And you should see the the dissonance in the woman's face. She's like. Uh, okay, 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 yeah. Three I, would, baby I, would, I would tell I would tell him not to be with her. He can do better because all of a sudden, once it's well, your, he doesn't want to be number four. Yeah, but 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 all of a sudden, when it's your genetics on the line, because this is your child, this is this person's related <laughs> to you, then all of a sudden you give a shit, and that's essentially what happens. Like whenever you ask, it's funny when you ask men questions through the lens of their daughters, they become blue pilled. When you ask mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. that, that questions through the through the lens of their sons, they become red pilled. It's just really interesting how that whole thing works. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there is. There is a double standard. If it sounds like there's a double standard, there is a double standard. A man could go to Brazil, fuck 17 girls, and then the next day be cool, and then the day after that, fuck 17 girls, and then go back to his fucking wife and not act any differently. And it blows women's mind when you say that. I'm not excusing that. I'm not saying guys go to fucking Florinopolis and have sex with 17 girls. What I'm saying is that men, that our psychology is different. Like Different animals can eat different things. It's, a, it's just part of their psychology. As men, we have the capability of doing this and separating the love from the intimacy. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, there's another thing. Uh, do you believe that this is cultural or evolutionary? What do you think? The fact that men can get away with this and like not be affected by it. Do you think it's cultural? Do you think it's evolution? Do you I think feel it's like genetic? It's cultural. You think it's cultural? What do you mean? Do you think it, so that's you, the that's the culture that we live in? You think that that culture teaches men to be okay with having multiple sexual partners and not be affected by yeah, it? Yeah, guys not, are high fived every but, time. But it's not genetics. You understand it would have. You don't think it's genetics. You think it's cultural. What do you think? Uh, I think it's evolution, one hundred percent. What do you think? Uh, evolution. What do you think? 
Um, I think a little bit of both, but mainly evolution, yeah. Okay, so here's the reason why it's 100% evolution. There's a study done in 1989 by Dr. David Buss where he does he goes to 37 different cultures. Some of these cultures have no con no contact whatsoever with the Western world. We're talking about tribes in the Andes. We're talking about tribes in the in Polynesia that have no contact with anyone else. In every single one of these 37 tribes. Men were more interested in casual sex than women were. In every single one of these tribes, men found the same signs of youth and symmetry in women to be the same across all of them, and they had no contact with each other whatsoever. They found a 0.72 hip-to-waist ratio to be the most attractive, and the women found men to have a a, a 1.65 to 1 uh, uh, shoulder-to-waist ratio to be the most attractive. There were Women preferred men that were tall, not not a specific type of height, but taller than them. And like I said before, in every one of these societies, men were more aggressive than women. It is not cultural, 0% cultural. It is 100% because you belong to a species of hominids that's been around for 300,000 years, and that this is a survival characteristic of men. Men are men throughout evolutionary history have ha- needed to have sex with as many partners as they could to spread their seed, and women needed to be picky in order to protect their, their offspring. That is just the way it's been, and it aided in survival, and that's the reason why it exists. It has zero to do when with When we culture. asked this question before, I think it was like on the first or the second episode here, we asked exactly the same question. Would you be okay with a guy that had like, you know, a lot of partners and every girl that was on the show said they would be okay with it. So long as they didn't have to meet any of the ex partners, like in a club or something like that. Like it was a, <laughs> so Except was for a, Natty. There was a social Natty thing. wants their autograph. Yeah. So would you, are, would you guys like line up with that? Like would, would that be an issue for you? Would, would you be okay with the guy being, you know, having having a, a sexual past, but also just so long as you don't actually have to meet them like socially or just run into them at the grocery store or some shit. I mean, I don't care, especially if I, Vegas is so small. You're going to run into like, you know, he's run into my exes. I run into his like, honestly, as long as they're cordial with me and you're respectful, I don't care. Like, don't mm-hmm. sit there and like. You know, Compare try to notes. flirt with yeah, him or like, something, yeah. but oh, you're yeah. fucking him now. Is <laughs> yeah, it's like, but no, I mean, I don't care as long as the chick mm-hmm. is cool. Like, I also get along with like, like I've dated guys in the past where I'm actually friends with their exes. So, mm-hmm. like, I don't care. I have, um, I am, I dabbled in a polyamory relationship, that was my next and um, I personally want to do it again. But I have made some very solid relationships with uh, my exes. You know, exes. Why, why did polyamory not work for you? Um, the reason for me, um, I think having a threesome or something like that is nice where, you know, the woman can go away. Um, if when your business is porn, that's a that crit. automatically that, well, make that's, so, that's, a cr- that's, that's a crazy suggestion, girl. That's a crit. That's a crazy suggestion, girl. That's crazy. I can't believe you said that on the air. Well, that's a crazy <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> I can't believe you said that, girl. I can't believe you said that. So, look, the reason why it didn't work out, and I think Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot. This was a younger girl. She was not in the industry, um, Mm -hmm. and she was not mature enough to handle the situation. So Mm -hmm. she was battling her own demons where she was uh, taking him away from me and then being competitive and then living with this bitch and then our periods and stuff it's like you know you guys started to sync up huh you guys started to sync up (laughs) yeah and uh, actually no we didn't sync up it was it was always off and it ended up being that this fucking bitch every every two weeks one of them's a bitch (laughs) well no she was a bitch the whole time it was just she was Uh so young Mm -hmm. and then uh so behind the closed door she wanted to basically be competitive with me but then Mm. with a friends and stuff she was trying to be my girlfriend i'm like bitch you ain't my girlfriend you're his girlfriend and i just think living with that person for me i'm not saying i've met some uh successful polyamory people Mm -hmm. they could do it for me it's just not for me Mm. would any of you like i want to hear uh, the rest of them that's what i was going to go with this it's like would any of you guys be okay in a poly relationship or would it be okay if you were with a guy and you were his like main girl, but he gets side pieces? Would you be okay with that? <laughs> if he's high enough value, like he's, I mean, he's your ideal guy. And I'm, he's like, you're my, don't worry, I'm in love with you. I'm going to wife you up at some point, but I, I, maybe I still got to hit it on the side. I'm still pretty old school. I feel like I'm still pretty monogamous, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. But you, I flirt you, with hey, girls you, all you, the fucking you, time. You know, so. my, you know, my ex is trying to get with you. 
I know, I know exactly who you're talking yeah. about. She sleeps <laughs> at my house every time she fucking yeah. comes over. It's, it's really funny. Yeah. She has a crush on me. Uh, yeah. I crush sure. on her too, though. She's hot. So. <laughs> anyway, keep going. But you still um, don't want you don't want a, a polyamorous relationship. No, so not, I just I, w- I wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, I feel like I'm very old school in that yeah. aspect, and I just want to know what I have is mine, and um, I don't want the stress of all of it. I have so many model girlfriends that are poly. And it just seems to always go very sideways. Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, now bringing multiple partners into the mix and not being poly, but having a couple and then you bring girls into it and you're hooking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course that works out. But having a third person in a relationship with you I've seen nothing but yeah, so, fucking mess. So what, what you're yeah. describing is a thruple, and what you're the other thing you're, <laughs> thruple, which, yeah. what you're talking about. We right. don't make these words up, so, by the way. So, oh, it's okay. No. okay. So thruple, thruple is a you're right. A thruple tends to be a problem. Uh, polygyny is what you're referring to before, <laughs> yeah. where like most of the girls I date was like her and I. We we would pick up women together. Yeah. Right? So that's polygyny, right? Mm-hmm. So that's fine. Polyamory is where there's multiple men involved. Polyandry is when there's multiple men and only one woman. So a polygyny is something different, like what you're describing. I find that to be like that tends to be a little bit more stable. Poly, poly complete polyandry, polyamory. Unless the dude's bisexual, I think that doesn't really work very well. I don't think it works either. I yeah, we didn't. I we didn't have another dude. Yeah. But no, I wish there was one. This is all really new to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard about these types of relationships. I feel like I might be okay with it just because I I feel like all the relationships I've been in, the men have been really possessive of me and they just want to be with me all the time and I don't like that. So if there was somebody else to like take them away, I, I'm like, yeah, take them, please. 